Now from Cancer, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of June the 24th to July the 1st, 2019. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to these videos. Please be sure to click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on open air for you to view on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single cancer out there on the planet, but if some of it does resonate, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, that's where I welcome you to click that little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and you will see my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below this video. If you feel the need, you can email me to guide you through that process. All right, my beautiful Cancers, let's see what we have. Here all over energy is the Six of Earth, better known as the Six of Pentacles in traditional tarot. And this shows me that you may be getting some sort of, uh, you know, a gift. It could be in the form of money. Some of you may be waiting for a check or a remittance check or an inheritance or a settlement of some sort. It will come in the form of money. For others, I see you're going to be getting the gift going to be given the time that you've been asking for. Perhaps you need a respite, a holiday, a vacation, more time off, time to do something. You will receive that. You will also get, you know, uh, credited for the effort that you put into something. You will get credit for that. You will get noticed for that. You will get commended for that. Some of you, I want you to expect that things are going to be changing on your career path. You will be getting some new career opportunities for some of you. So you may be out there making resumes, getting things out there, but I do see that some of you will be hearing from some new job that you've been wanting uh, to move up into or to get. Some of you that have applied for money, perhaps a loan, know that that will be approved. Some of you may be trying to diligently pay off a long-standing debt. You're now going to have the resources to do this, Cancer. So all in all, this circulates around gifts coming in, the form of time, effort, or money. You've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Earth in Angel Tarot, but the Knight of Pentacles in traditional tarot. And this is all about you knowing that you've got to do the work in order for things to come into you. So I do see that you're going to be loyal and dedicated and you're going to set out on your path to buckle down and get things done. Perhaps there's been jobs you've had to put on the shelf, you know, you haven't had the time or you haven't wanted to do it. Now you have to honor your commitments. But I tell you, this is a card that says you're going to get help. Someone around you is going to step up and say, hey, what can I do to help you here? You're going to have the time, effort, and resources now for someone to help you. This could also be your guardian angel that's stepping up. Know that they're there and they're going to be giving you the courage and the energy to do this added work. So I do see you're buckling down and you're getting to, getting down to business. You're going to be able to get off. This, uh, this is the awakening in the angel, but it's also the hangman in the traditional. And you're going to be taking time, you know, and this is the card that says you're hanging in limbo, basically. But this is, and when you're hanging in limbo, it's all because you're looking at things from a different perspective. You may be contemplating and, and you know, romanticizing and thinking about something in your past that you wish you could change or, and you know you're going to change or you've learned the lessons from. So you're looking at things from a different perspective. And while you're doing that and you're tweaking the situation, you're taking your time, okay? You're hanging in limbo. Things aren't moving forward. But I do see you're going to be buckling down and getting things done. So you're going to be able to get off this pole and move forward. It's important to stay yourself, stand your ground. Know that things are going to work out in your favor when you do get off there. And, and you know, because you've looked at things in a, with a different uh, idea and a different perspective, uh, you're able now to get the job done that you might have shelved for a while. And you're saying, well, you know what? I know how to do this now and I'm going to get it done. You've got the Hierophant, and this is unity in the Angel Tarot. And this is all about looking at things in, in, a, in more uh, traditional methods. 
Uh, you know, some of you may be actually joining because the Hierophant often refers to spiritual or, you know, we like to look at this as sort of uh, the church or something uh, therein like that. But some of you may be joining spiritual uh, organizations. You may be wanting to take up some sort of study uh, that's going to help you in, in perhaps you're getting involved in the metaphysical world. Like, you know, maybe you're getting involved in tarot. Maybe you're getting involved in, in different healing modalities. And you're going to seek out like-minded people and mentors and friends that you're going to be able to collaborate with and, and learn from. Or you may be able to mentor them as well. You know, I always say when one teaches, to learn. So, you know, you're learning from something here. You're taking time on your path to decide where it is you want to go. You've decided on that and you're going to get the work done because it shows me you're going to either get the time uh, or, and given the time or energy and money to be able to have the resources to get where it is you want to go on your path. Let's see what we've got here in respect to the Lennerman deck. The added, thank you, I need two more, please. The added information, and look what you've got here. You've got the truth cross, and we talked about the hieroglyphs. So let's see what we have here. We need one more. Wow, beautiful, beautiful card. Doesn't get any better than that. Wow, wow, wow. The sun. The sun and the star, I always try to say to me, are very similar. It's all about good energy, good karma. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, we've got the fox. Okay, so basically what's going on here with the cross is you've had some loss here. You've had some problems to deal with, some of you. And you, you know, you've grieved over them and now you're moving on. Um, this is healing. This is past tense. I do see that, you know, uh, some of you have been uh, dealing with loss or grief or you know, disappointments. And now you're going to be able to step up and do the things that you have to do. So keep thinking of this as a healing card. You're moving past it because you got the star and the sun. And, you know, I want to call this the star and I want to call it the sun. I tell, I've tell i been telling everybody this today because to me they're both. They are always good cards of good karma and good energy. And you're going to be able to get off the pole. You've had that awakening. You've had that realization that things are going to work out better in your favor because you've decided to tweak things and do them differently. Differently. Along your path, I want you to be careful. You may run into an individual that may be like the sheep and in uh, the wolf in sheep's clothing. And, you know, this person might be a little bit sneaky and not totally upfront. So be careful when you're running into anybody. Uh, I don't see this happening in a spiritualist organization, but I want you to just take heed. There may be somebody around you that you already know. It could even be a family member that isn't always truthful and upfront and honest with you. They kind of sneak around and skirt around issues that they can't openly and honestly discuss. And you know what? Just beware of those type of individuals in your uh, in your circle. Let's see what we've got here for your goddess guide, this oracle card. You've got high priestess. Wow, that's stepping into your power. You have the divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. So we talked about this here with the hierophant. So, you know, uh, you know, you might be, you know, leading workshops here, all right? Or writing books or articles about a certain topic, stepping up into your power. The high priestess is all about that, knowing where it is she wants to go, and she's made up her mind now. You're getting off that pole. You're not in limbo anymore, and you're getting down to business. Okay, so it's all about looking for opportunities to teach and, you know, and to impart your wisdom that you're learning on your path. And you being a role model of peace, my friend, okay? Honor your divinity and know that you are a leader. This is beautiful. This is all about stepping up into your power now. You got originality, and along with stepping up into your power, I do believe this to be true. You're a go-getter and a free spirit by nature. You exhibit originality, okay? And courage and defiance. You were born to succeed and breathe excitement, love, and life into the lives of others. Despite your chaotic ways and your gregarious nature, you are loving and generous, my beautiful, beautiful cancers. So this is telling me you're stepping up into your power. Okay, you're going to eat and you're showing showing the world that you can be original and stand your ground and be who you are. You're not going to put up with people that aren't honest in your life anymore because you've become honest yourself. You're going to be the light. You're going to be the beacon on your own path. You're now going to be able to get off this off this hanging in limbo and move forward. You've put up with your past. Your past is over now. It's behind you and now you're stepping up. And you're buckling down and you're getting things done because you realized you've got the guard, your guardian angel there. It's got your back. And at the end of the day, you're going to see the fruits of your labor. You're going to see the abundance coming into you, these gifts coming into you. 
Wow, what a, uh, an interesting read here for you, Cancer. It all looks good to me. You, you know, you've had your struggles, but you're moving on forward. And the final outcome card, I mean, this with the all of our energy here card, has to do with you receiving gifts coming into you because of what you've learned. You've, you've changed in your life to move forward for the better. So, my beautiful, 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 beautiful Cancers, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And remember, the universe and the divine want you and your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So I want you to surrender to it, Cancer, okay? And move forward towards your goals and your happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls. I'll see you soon and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Thank you.